What's that in the sky? It's a bird. It's a plane. <gasps> it's Super Gook here. Coming at you guys today with a Yu Yu match versus Panda Fish. I'll link to his channel will be left in the description. Definitely check him out if you guys like Pokemon Let's Play. See, there's plenty of ROM hacks and Nuzlocks and all that fun shenanigans with Pokemon Let's Plays and stuff. I have um a bit of an important announcement coming up at the end of this video, so stay tuned with my Yu Yu match for um you know to hear this announcement at the end of this video. Even though I don't really play UU very much, so my teams may not be the greatest, my predictions may not be the greatest, but let's talk about my team. I always, or not always, but for the most part, I like bringing a Fire Water Grass Core to my match. So I have a Fire Water Grass Core in the form of Shaman, a Subseeding Shaman, Rotom Heat, which I love so very dearly, and a, um, a Sleep Talking Suicune. I have Mew for a physical wall, hit him on top to, uh, you know, spin rocks and other entry hazards away, and an Aerodactyl to set up rocks for my side and fun rock attacks and yeah. Looking at Pandafish's team, he also has a fire water grass core in the form of Roserade, Melodic, and Darmanitane. Um, he has an Azelf, possibly a lead, Rhyperior, you know, might be a physical attacker along with, um, Darmanitane and Raikou for doing fun electric attack shenanigans and being fast. Something completely out there. Um, I almost called Darmanitane Hihi Daruma because that's the only Pokemon that, for some reason, I still think of it by its Japanese name. I always slip up on that. It's really weird. But, um, yeah. So, against what I was thinking, you know, he's not going to lead with either Azelf or Roserade. He's actually going to lead with Raikou, and I'm going to lead with Aerodactyl. I'm not going to want to take a Thunderbolt or a Volt Switch or whatever, so I'm just going to switch out into Rotom Heat to take an Electric Attack, and he does that perfectly fine, and he switches out, or he Volt Switches, or whatever you prefer to say, into Rhyperior, and now I'm like, okay, don't want to take a Rock Attack, I'm going to switch into Hitmontop to, you know, take these Rock Attacks, you know, very nicely, and he does that. It's only going to be two hits, so, you know, Leftovers is definitely going to recover the majority of that damage off. So yeah, I'm good. I'm only down 8 H hit points with these things. Now he's going to switch into Melodic, and I'm just going to go for attack to see whatever I can hit. I didn't know Melodic was coming in at this point, and I'm just like, mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Marvel scale. That's that's no good. But um, I'm just going to go for Sucker Punch, see if I can do some damage, and he's going to Scald. You know, it does just, uh, like, just under about, you know, um, 70-ish with life, with life, little, with left overs. I cannot talk today. He's going to go for another Scald, and I see he can outspeed me. At this point in the chat, he's saying, um, this is actually an offensive Melodic, which, you know, with Marvel Scale, it makes a decent tank. So I'm like, huh, that's kind of interesting. Oh, I don't want to take another Scald, so I'm going to switch out into Suicune. Well, he's actually going to rest up. Um, you're going to see in a second that he does not actually have a Chestoberry, which is a really interesting thing, you know, to run rest without Chestoberry. But he still does get the Marvel Scale defense boost, so, yeah. He's going to switch out into his Roserade, and I'm just going to set up a Calm Mind. He's going to go for a Leaf Storm, and yeah, I'm just barely going to take it, but I only survived it because of this Calm Mind. He's going to get a Special Attack drop, and I, you know, I, yeah. I definitely have to switch out because I really want my Suicune, because, you know, it could serve me. It could serve me very well, because that's what Suicune should do. I'm going to switch out into Shaman, predicting another Leaf Storm or whatever. I didn't think he was going to go for, like, um... A sludge bomb or whatever these rose rates carry. But yeah. I'm just going to set up a sub and he's going to rest up. Rest on this thing makes a bit more sense than it does on my Lodic because, um, you know, he, this thing has natural cure. So yeah. Well, now since he's asleep, I'm going to assume that he would want to switch out. So I'm just going to set up another leech seed. Or not another. I'm going to set up my first leech seed of the match. Yay, leech seed, because I'm a sub seeding. Shaman, and that's what these things do. They set up subs and then they set up leech seeds. So, that's what I do. He's gonna Volt Switch out. Um, something about me, I always kind of, I know electric is not effective against grass, but sometimes I always think it's the other way around. I don't know what it is. So I'm just gonna go for Hidden Power Ice to hit that Reiku for neutral, even though a C Flare would have hit it for neutral. But I'm after the Volt Switch and the U turn. My sub's going to be broken. And he's going to switch back into Reiku. I was trying to hit this Azelf with a Seed Flare, but I'm just going to hit with the Reiku. It's going to do nice. You know, um, I'm going to get the Special Defense drop. He's going to go for a Hidden Power, either Ice or Fire here. 
Unless it's something completely random like Hidden Power Poison, that'd be slightly hilarious if he was running Hidden Power Poison, but um, yeah, I'm gonna take that nicely, I'm just gonna set up another sub, but um, you know, I know I'm really not gonna take another sub unless I get more Leech Seeds and Leftovers and shenanigans. Um, so, of course, I'm gonna try to set up a Leech Seed, he's gonna switch into Roserade, and um, you know, he's just gonna eat up those, um, what's-its-face, those Leech Seeds, and like, no, 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 no. And he's gonna go for Sludge Bomb to break my sub. I'm like, yeah, Hidden Power Ice because I was behind a sub. So, um, you know, it does a decent amount of damage. Yeah, but I don't want to stay in. I'm just gonna switch into Rotom Heat to take the Sludge Bomb, but apparently he cannot take Sludge Bombs because he decides I'm just gonna die. And, you know, Life Orb. Now I'm gonna switch in Suicune just to bait him out into going for a, um, Leaf Storm, but he predicts that and goes for another Sludge Bomb, and now he hurts Shaman, and I'm just like, uh, great. Maybe he went for that because he didn't want to risk missing, I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna send in Mew here, he's gonna go for Sleep Powder, unfortunately for him it's going to miss, and I'm going to be able to take him out with a Psychic. Ah, <sighs> breath time. Now he's gonna switch into his uh, Azelf, and he's just gonna U-turn out. I'm gonna take it eh, generally well, it might be Choice Banded. Because it did quite a bit, and this is my physical wall Mew. And he's just going to switch right into his Melodic, and I'm just going to go for Taunt, you know, so he won't be able to set up rocks or, you know, whatever. I know this thing's a bit slow because I have no speed investment in this thing, but, um, I might change Taunt to something else. Yeah, who knows? If you guys have any suggestions, leave it in the comments. And now I'm just going to try to start chipping away at this Melodic, you know, Psychics, Psychics, Psychics. Chipping away. Chipping away slowly. But it wakes up. And it just dragon tails me right out of here into my Suicune. But I see this as a perfect opportunity to be able to rest up. So that's what I'll do. And I'm just resting up. And I see here he has a Flame Orb to get that permanent Marvel Scale boost. Which is, um, that kind of sucks for me. And he's just going to dragon tail out me out back into you. And I'm having difficulties talking today for no reason. But anyways, now that I'm in Mew, he's going to want to switch out, I guess, for some reason. He could have taken a Psychic, but I guess, I don't know, he doesn't want to stay in. So anyways, Psychic, it's going to not really do that much to Rhyperior. I'm just going to go for a Will-O-Wisp, because um, I know these things can hit pretty hard. He's going to go for a Mega Horn, it's going to miss. I'm predicting another Mega Horn, even though it's burned, you know. He's still going to want to hit me as hard as he can. Those things do have pretty high attacks, so it'll be able to hit me pretty hard, kind of no matter what, even though I'm a physical wall. So I'm going to switch into Aerodactyl. And he's going to go for that Mega Horn again. It's not going to do that much. So on this turn, I'm just going to set up Rocks because I'm pretty safe in here. He's probably going to switch out. So I set up Rocks. He doesn't switch out. He actually also sets up Rocks on this turn. But, um, you know, Rocks aren't really a big problem because nothing on my team is really that weak to Rocks. So, yeah. Now he switches out into Azelf again. And I'm just going to go for a Stone Edge, you know, just to predict a switch and just do damage. So, Azelf goes down, now he switches in to Reiku, and you know, I know both of these things are really fast, but I wasn't sure which is faster, so I figured, eh, I'd find out. Reiku's faster, he takes me out with a Thunderbolt. Now I'm gonna switch into Mew, I know Mew can take at least one Thunderbolt, and, you know, finish him off with a Psychic. So that's what I'm gonna do, because, you know, he's not gonna switch out, because rocks are probably gonna take him down when he comes back in anyways. Whew, breath time again. He's gonna switch in D, okay and Donkey Kong. And um, he's gonna go for Flare Blitz, my physical wall, you know, I will be not surviving because I lied. But um, recoil damage is always fun, I'm gonna switch in my Suicune. You know, give him some time to wake up because, um, yeah. So of course I'm gonna go for the Sleep Talk because, you know, Sleep Talking Suicune, like I said earlier. And I'm gonna be getting the Calm Mind. And this is gonna keep happening, I'm gonna keep getting Calm Minds while I'm, um, you know, talking in my sleep. Do you guys talk in your sleep? I don't know. My nephew talked in his sleep once. He was talking something about Tyra Banks and he offered her eggs. I don't know. He also was talking about Charlie the Unicorn and how they had to find matching ponies to ride Charlie the Unicorn. And I'm like, okay. I was really confused, but he was asleep and it's just like, okay, whatever. Anyways, by this time I'm finally waking up and since I kept getting like two call mine nine plus two, Skull's definitely going to be able to take out this Rhyperior without any problems at all. Leftovers, you know. 
Another Scald, after Rocks, it's definitely also going to take him out because of the 25% he takes coming in. The Earthquake isn't really going to bother me at all. So, um, now, um, Darmanitan, I almost like he drew him again. So now Darmanitan is dead, and so is Rhyperior. He's going to switch into his Melodic. Being plus two, you know, I'm like, maybe I can take it out with one. If it doesn't, burn well. He's going to drag and tail me out. It's on my hit on top, and burn will take him out, so... Good game, Panda Fish. Um, like I said, link in the description for Panda Fish. Go check him out. And um, now, time for that important announcement. If you guys stayed, you know clearly you find some interest in my content, which is really nice. So um, comment, like, subscribe. And um, my announcement from this point on, I will do the very best, and chances are I will be able to do this weekly uploads, at least one or two uploads a week, occasionally PO. Possibly thinking about starting a podcast in time in the not too distant future. Um, I'm really trying to buckle down and get into this YouTube thing, you know? Because, you know, that's kind of what I want to do. So, um, again, you know, that's about it. Comment, like, subscribe, and, um, have a nice day, y'all.